Hi! Welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mga tutorial videos. Today, we're going to explore the topic, Solving Quadratic Equations by Factoring and How to Factor a Quadratic Equation. Factoring a polynomial means expressing it as a product of other polynomials. And here are the steps on solving a quadratic equation by factoring. So step 1, write the equation in standard form if necessary. So yung standard form class is a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Kung hindi pa kayo familiar dun sa pagsulat ng standard form, so panuorin nyo na lang class yung isa kong ginawang video, step by step procedure on how to write quadratic equation in standard form. Okay, so step number 2, factor completely. Next, Apply the zero product property by setting its factor of the quadratic expression equal to zero. For any real numbers a and b, if a b is equal to zero, then either a is equal to zero, b is equal to zero, or both. Last step, solve its equation produced in step 3. So, dito sa step number 4, Kailangan class maroon kayo ng addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division property of equality. At ito naman class yung mga madalas na kinagamit sa pag-factor ng quadratic equation. So, factoring a trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Factoring polynomials with a common monomial factor using GCF or the greatest common factor. Factoring polynomials that are different of squares in the form a squared minus b squared is equal to the quantity of a plus b times the quantity of a minus b. Factoring a perfect square trinomial in the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the quantity of a plus b raised to the second power or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a or to the quantity of a minus b raised to the second power. So let's start with factoring a trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Example number 1. x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So yung step number 1 natin, write quadratic equation into standard form. So, since naka-standard form na yung given natin, proceed tayo dun sa ating second step. So, second step natin is factor completely. So, to factor, punin natin yung factor nung ating first term. So, x squared. So, ang factor nito class is x times x. So, ilagay lang natin dito sa ating open and close parenthesis. So, pagkatapos nito, kunin naman natin lahat ng factor ng ating constant term. So, ano-ano nga ba yung factor ng ating constant term na 6? So, ito po. 6 times 1 is equal to 6. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Negative 6 times negative 1 is equal to 6. And negative 3 times negative 2 is equal to 6. Pagkatapos dito, kunin naman natin or hanapin natin yung factor na kapag in natin is equal to our middle term, which is 5. Okay, so I start tayo dun sa 6 and 1. 6 plus 1 is equal to 5. Oh, sorry. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So, ito yung hinahanap nating factor. So, ilalagay lang natin dun sa ating open and close 
parenthesis. So, meron na tayong the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, next step naman natin is apply the zero product property. So, dito, yung factor natin plus equal lang natin sa 0. So, magiging x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, next, step number 4, solve. So, unahin na natin isolve yung x plus 3 is equal to 0 using subtraction property of equality. So, subtract both sides by 3. x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 minus 3 is x is equal to negative 3. Next is x plus 2 is equal to 0. Again, using subtraction property of equality, subtract both sides by 2. So, x is equal to negative 2. So, our final answer is x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to negative 2. So, proceed tayo dun sa ating next example. So, x squared minus 27 is equal to 6x. Okay, so gawin muna natin siyang standard form. So, ang standard form nito is x squared minus 6x minus 27 is equal to 0. Then, factor na natin plus yung ating uh, quadratic term. So, x times x. Next, uh, ilista ulit natin yung factor yung ating constant term. So, ito yung mga factor niya. Negative 1 times 27, negative 3, and 9. 1 and negative 27, then 3, and negative 9. Next, napin uli natin yung factor na kapag in natin ay equal dun sa ating middle term. So, negative 1 plus 27, positive 26. Negative 3 plus 9 is positive 6. 1 plus negative 27 is negative 26. 3 plus negative 9 is negative 6. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung hinahanap nating factor. So, ito yung ilalagay natin dun sa ating open and close parenthesis. So, meron na tayong x plus 3 times x plus minus 9. So, gamitin uli natin class yung zero product property. So, magiging x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then, x minus 9 is equal to 0. Kung mapapansin nyo class, dun sa ating second factor, nawala yung addition symbol. So, x plus minus 9 is equal to x minus 9. Okay, next, solve natin using subtraction property of equality. So, subtract both sides by 3. So, x is equal to negative 3. Next is x minus 9 is equal to 0. So, dito naman ang gagamitin natin is addition property of equality. So, add both sides by 9. So, x is equal to 9. So, final answer x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 9. Okay, so let's proceed dun sa ating factoring polynomials with a common monomial factor using GCF or greatest common factor. But remember, always look for a GCF before using any other factoring method. Okay, so example number 1. 2x squared plus 8x is equal to 0. So, first step natin class, hanapin natin yung common monomial factor nung 2x squared at nung 8x. So, kung 2x ang sagot nyo, may tama ka. Okay, next. Sulat lang natin yung ating open and close parenthesis. Then, dito, mag-iisip ka ng term na kapag minultiply mo sa 2x ay equal doon sa ating 
2x squared. So, ano nga ba yung term na pag minultiply sa 2x is equal to 2x squared? x. So, 2x times x is 2x squared. Okay, so next, isip naman tayo class ng term na pag minultiply natin sa 2x is equal to 8x. Okay, so ano ba yung term na pag minultiply sa 2x is equal to 8x? 4. So, 2x times 4 is equal to 8x. Now, so since nakompleto na natin class yung ating factor, pwede na natin gamitan ng zero product property. So, 2x is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, sagutan natin yung 2x is equal to 0. So, using um, division property of equality, divide both sides by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 times x is equal to x. And 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 0. Next is x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, using subtraction property, uh, subtract both sides by 4. x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 minus 4 is x is equal to negative 4. And that is our final answer. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to negative 4. Okay, so para naman sa inyong seat work ngayong araw, pakisagutan lang. Solve the following equations. So, paki-pause nyo lang uli. Pag tapos na kayo magsagot, uh, pindutin nyo lang uli yung play button. Okay, so check na natin. So, number 1, x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 3. Number 2, uh, x is 5 and x is negative 3. Number 3, x is equal to 6 and x is equal to negative 1. Number 4, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 8. Then last, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3.